Coming up next, it's a UFC women's flyweight division matchup. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC, and I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Well, she is about as accomplished a submission specialist as we have in this division. And candidly, not many women are able to stand up to that type of challenge. It's very difficult to try and fight a specialist in the position that they are so good at getting you to. Because it's her ability to trick you into grappling with her that makes her so special. And when you're on step two of a jiu-jitsu exchange, she's already graduated. Right. School's already out of session <laughs> by the time you're ready to go into the classroom. Because the moment you leave any limb hanging, you leave the arm down, arm bar is already thrown up on you. You get too low on her hips, she throws up the triangle choke. If you get too high with your body, she'll be rolling knee bar, ankle right. lock, leg lock. It does not matter. There are just so many submissions in her arsenal that you are constantly in danger. School's out for summer, champ. We'll see how quickly she can get this fight to the ground tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, eight losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Shanghai, China, Hurricane. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 119 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, Lewis. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? All right, the round one clock is ticking. Good to have you with us as we get underway here, and good to have this fighter back in the octagon after what she did her last time out, a win by submission, setting up this high-profile opportunity here tonight. Perhaps she can even realize a title shot by the end of the year. That remains to be seen. First order for her is taking care of business tonight. Lewis gets caught with that punch. All right, here we go with round one. Good to have you with us tonight, and good to see her back on the proven ground here tonight. One of the best submission practitioners in this division. Perhaps she'll go for the early takedown here. She's going to try to get a takedown in order to get the fight to the mat. It does not matter how she does it. All she needs to do is make sure that she is having extended grappling exchanges. Oh, nice. Nice. We need to get out of there. Let's go. Do something. Lands the double leg takedown. We'll see what she can do with it. So Lewis is trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. She's got side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her. So Lewis is now trying for the Kimura. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And 
This might just be a matter of time. Wow. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Oh, there she goes. She moves through her back. Oh, that's a nice scramble by her there. Big kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big body kick land. Strong series of kicks by her there. It's almost like she throws her feet as if they're two more hands. I mean, that is crazy. Use oh! She stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown deal? And finally, she gets the takedown. She stayed committed. At some point, she knew she was going to be. So Lewis's submission game is underrated. She goes for the triangle here. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. Listen, you're down right now. Second round underway. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Good punch lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice knee to the body by Lewis. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Man, these knees are really starting to do a lot of damage to her opponent. And there is another one right on cue. So several knees landed already in this round. Let's see if her opponent can make some adjustments here defensively and find a way to stay in this fight. She gets a turtle in that kick. And she's back in the clinch. Right on the button. Nice punch, man. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Lands a hip toss. So Lewis is looking for that arm triangle now. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Getting tighter. opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Lewin! Oh, well, there she is. A lot of people felt like this fight was destined to go the distance. She had other ideas. She said that if this fight went to the ground, it did not matter how good her opponent is, she was going to submit her. She did exactly that. She feels like she's levels above the rest of the game in the grappling.